Hello, I'm Linda from Balati's Body Blitz and here's little Minnie in her bucket bands. Today we're doing Endurance 40 Sculpted. So it's going to be a cardio sculpt workout, working the entire body. Lots of work for the legs and the lower body especially, but definitely a bit of core focus as well as some upper body engagement using light hand weights. So I'm going to use one kilo, which is just over two pounds. We are moving quite quickly for some of the exercises, so you don't want to go too heavy, but you can go a little bit heavier, especially if you're one of my advanced exercises. If you are advanced, you may want to add some ankle weights or even a resistance loop just above the knees for some of the exercises where appropriate. Now, 40 second intervals with just 10 seconds of rest. I'm going to always demonstrate the next exercise in those 10 seconds, but I want you to take your full rest period. I want you to get your breath back and really let your heart rate come down that little bit so you can hit it hard the following, in following interval. We're going to be doing lots of up and down motions, lots of lunges, squats, kicks. I will try and cue you wherever possible to modify if you're finding it difficult to say stay on your wrists or do some of the rotational moves that I do. So just listen out for those. If you miss a few reps at the beginning of an exercise, don't worry about it too much. Just try to do it with correct form. Even if you need to press pause, get your body positioning right and then start that interval, that's okay too. And every time you do the workout, it will become a bit more familiar. So I'm gonna get started straight away with my light hand weights. I'm not even wearing footwear, but you can if you find that you want more stability. And we're going to try and go all the way through without any breaks, but if you need to take a break at any point, just do so just for a very short period of time. I want you to stay challenged throughout. So I would rather you modify and slow down than stop altogether. Now with the intervals, it means you can go at your own pace. You do not have to keep up with my pace. Maybe you're going a bit slower. Maybe you're going a bit faster. It doesn't really matter as long as you complete the entire interval. Are you ready? We're gonna get started straight away with a side to side lunge. So grab your hand weights, wide stance, feet slightly turned down. I want a deep slide lunge, deep side lunge, and then four more shallow in the center. So I'm gonna reach to the side, reach to the side, and then punch for four in the center. So it's wide and deep, wide and deep, and four more shallow. I'm keeping my body hinged forward for most of my squats and lunges today because I like to activate my glutes by keeping the weight in the heels. It's also a bit gentler on your knees. So big and wide, big and wide. One, two, three, four. Big and wide. And now the next exercise coming to a narrow stance. We're just gonna lunge behind, lunge behind, lunge diagonal front diagonal front come with me so it's directly behind I'm just doing hammer curls now keep your hips to the front but you're stepping out diagonal I'm keeping a nice bend in my knees I'm never fully coming up okay so I'm going to load all my weight into those thighs and if you want to hinge a little bit more here you can definitely do that or keep it a bit more upright for this exercise and forward, and forward. Tummies are in. Whenever you're hinging, you're hinging with a flat back. Forward, and forward. Nice job. We're going to come into a wide plie position. So we're going to come down for a plie, and then we're gonna curtsy behind, changing sides. Come with me. So it's down and curtsy. Now I'm going to bring my arms a bit further behind and really extend back for a triceps extension. Side and back, side and back. So I'm hinging a bit more on the plie and coming a bit more upright on that curtsy lunge. Bit of variation. Getting a really good breath going now. Really squeeze your arms and your glutes, four, three, two, one, nice job. So we're going to come into a back lunge to a knee in front and side, back lunge together. Other side, come with me, back lunge, knee front, knee side, back lunge together. Doesn't matter so much what you're doing, 
with your arms. I just added in an extra knee. That's okay. So it's back, up, side, back, together. Back, up, side, back, together. I just want you to get a little bit of a balance challenge going here. Back, up, side, back, together. Keep breathing. Three, two, last one. Up, side, back. Now come back into that wide plie. All we're doing is reaching down and then pulling elbows behind. Reach down, flat back, pull behind. You've got a pulse going in your legs. You wanna make sure that you're pushing your knee slightly to the back and you're hinging forward with a flat back. You don't have to touch all the way down if you're not comfortable with that. Down and really squeeze your shoulder blades together here. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Deep breaths. Down and back. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to stay in this plie and we're going to Swing a leg to the side, come center, swing a leg to the side. So arms are straight in front of you, palms are facing down and up and down, side and down and side and down. So knee to the front as you raise that leg, really using a lot of core stability here to make sure that you don't fall over. Arms are straight with a micro bend at the elbow. Point your toe, come down, up and down. This load your high, it's really getting the heart rate up. We're gonna come into down dog next. So lose your weights, three, two, one, nice job. Okay, come into a down dog position. We're gonna raise up, step to the front, raise up, knee pull, other side. Raise up, step to your hand, glute raise, knee pull. Other side, it's up, step to your hand, up, knee pull. Up, step to your hand, up, knee pull. If you need to do this on your knee, you can do it like this. Okay, maybe come up for this one, and then maybe come down for the knee pull. You've got options. Try to find a way of doing it that really makes it dynamic for you but doable. Up, knee pull. Nice job. We're going to do a sit out from side to side. So you're going to come into a knee hover, sit out to the front, knee hover, twist to the back. So you're twisting to the front, twisting to the back. Now, if this is not okay for you, come to your knees and rock on your knees and just lift that leg. But if you can, I want you to really try to stay up the whole time and not put your knees down. I know it's tough, but you can do it. Really extend long behind the knee. Breathe. And across, long straight legs here. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to do a mini handstand. If you're not able to do the mini handstand, come down and do a glute raise, okay? Glute raise. If you want to lift off, tiny lift off. Tiny lift off. Okay, if you want more, bring your other leg up. You choose a level. I just want you to keep going and I want you to feel dynamic. I want you to feel like your blood is circulating all around your body and you're giving it your all. 10 seconds, come on, you choose your level. Six, five, four, three, two, one, nice job. We're going to come back into a down dog position and all we're gonna do is raise our glute raise for two, back down, knee up, and up, back down. So bend your leg, kick it up twice, 
back down, up, up, back down, bend, extend, extend, back down, bend, extend, extend, back down. Try to keep quite balanced in the rest of your body as you do that angled, kick up and up. We're standing again with the weights next. So look at where your weights are, up, and up and down. Extend, extend and down. Nice job. Grab your weights and we're going to stay on one side now for five rounds. We're going to do a side lunge to sweep and a squat to sweep. So it's a side lunge, inner thigh sweep, squat, sweep. Side lunge, sweep, squat, sweep. So I want you to think, push across with your inner thigh. Come down, across, push, across. So I want you to get low. Hinge forward with a flat back and then sweep. It's the low to high that really gets the heart rate up and burns those calories. And across, wide and up. Nice job. Okay, we're going to do a curtsy behind to a knee up, curtsy behind, diagonal kick. Staying on the same leg, curtsy knee, curtsy kick. Curtsy knee, curtsy kick. Now if you want to reach down, you can make it a bit tougher. Reach down and kick. So I want a straight leg lift on that straight leg kick, okay? It's not a bend extend, it's a straight leg all the way up. Doesn't have to be super high and up. Keep breathing and up. Knee and kick. Three, two, and one. Nice job, come into that wide plie. We're going to go wide plie, curtsy, wide plie, kick to the side. Come with me, it's a curtsy, wide and kick. Curtsy, wide and kick. So I'm reaching down again and that's going to show me I'm getting to that same low point each time. But you reach wherever you're comfortable as long as it's challenging. And kick. Curtsy, wide, extend directly to the side. Dynamic arms. If you face your palm to the back here, it's a triceps extension. Last one and kick. Great job. We're going to come down and do a knee pull. So come down, do two knee pulls. Stand up, two knee pulls. Come with me. Hinge, two knee pulls. Stand up, two knee pulls. It's okay if you wobble. I'm wobbling too. It's a tough one for balance. Now, if you're finding it just impossible, then just stay up and only do standing knee pulls. Okay, or maybe hold on with one hand. Hold on with the back hand. But if you can, do this up and down motion. That's where the calorie burn lives. Up and up, down, in and in. Nice big long leg at the back. Okay, in and in. Breathe through it. Okay, the last one, we don't need the weights, we're coming into a plank. We're gonna go behind and lift our inner thigh, forward, in, across, in, and back to plank. Behind and lift, plank. Knee in, across, in, behind and lift, plank. Knee in, across, and in, behind and lift. Now if you need to, come down on the knee, you're just gonna have to do knee pulls and then maybe drop behind, maybe sit on your butt. In, across, and in. But if you want to stay up with me, stay up. In, across. We're gonna go back up, standing. Do the side lunge, sweep across on the other side. Four, three, two, and one. Grab your weights, stand it up. Side lunge, sweep, squat, sweep. Getting that heart rate up, ready? Side lunge, sweep, squat, sweep. 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 Side lun
sweep, squat, sweep. Nice and deep, really high, low to high. Nice and deep, really high, low to high. Stick your glutes to the back wall in both your lunge and your squat. Sweep, down and sweep. Wide, sweep, down and sweep. Last set, down and sweep. Nice job. Okay, we're going to do that lunge, the curtsy to knee, curtsy to kick. Are you ready? Three, two, one, down and knee. Maybe reach for the floor and kick. Down and knee, down and kick. So remember, straight leg from the bottom up. Down and knee. It's a raise, not an extension. And knee, down and up. Down and knee. Try to sink low at the back, but with a flat back, okay? Do not round your back to try and get lower. And up. Three, two. And last one. Awesome job. Wide plie to curtsy to flick. Come into that wide plie. So you're curtsying. Back to wide plie, flick. So maybe reach down, wide plie, flick. Remember that triceps extension here. Palm to the back. Down, wide plie, flick. I'm staying low on my supporting leg. This leg is not straightening when I flick. It keeps loaded the entire time. Curtsy, wide, flick. Come on, keep going. You did it on the other side. You can do it on this side. And flick. Okay, we're doing those two knee pulls in that runner's lunge position, lunge position up to two knee pulls. So come behind. Three, two, one. Knee pull for two. And up knee pull. And down knee pull. And up knee pull. Down and pull. Up and pull. So even on the up, my supporting leg is not straightening. I'm keeping it really bent. I'm keeping my weight in the heels. And yep, you will wobble and that's okay. We want to wobble. Wobbling means you're firing more core muscles to try and stabilize you. Up for two, last time down for two. Okay, lose your weight. Guess what? It's that plank. Rotate towards the back in a thigh raise. You ready? So rotate in a thigh raise, rotate back across and back in line. Rotate in a thigh raise, rotate back, knee pull across and back in line. Remember your options if you don't want to do this rotate behind. Sit down, raise it up, maybe come to your knee, knee pull for two. Around, sit up, back in line, knee pull for two. Otherwise, stay here with me, in and out. Okay, now we're on our side. So on your side, we're going to do one leg in, then we're going to step in front, twist our body and do a glute raise on the other side. Come back down. So it's like a leg in and then you're unraveling, glute raise, come back down. Nice big reach, straight leg, glute raise. Come back down. So your leg is bent, this one's straight. Step over the top, glute raise. Now if you can't, then maybe just come kneeling, glute raise, okay? That's your option. Side, kneeling, glute raise. Otherwise get up there, into that down dog, glute raise. And it's up, and glute raise. Okay, we're coming into a bridge position. I'm just gonna use my weight here, come into a glute bridge position. The leg that was just up is going to come down for two, keeping your butt up. 
Stay up, two bend extends. Down and up, down and up, two bend extends at the top. Down and up, keep your butt up if you can. Two bend extends. Now if you can't, then tap down and up, tap down and up, then to do two bend extends. So it's up to you. But if you can keep your butt up and contract the other side, it's so much better. Breathe. Bend, extend. Point that toe straight behind the leg. Down, up. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. We're staying in this position. This leg that was up is going to come down, sweep in front. Come down, sweep in front. Bend the leg, cross behind. Other side, glute raise. Come back and unravel. Down. Stay in front with that same leg. In front, behind. Unravel, down dog, glute raise. Twist back to the front. Out, in, out, in. Get yourself up. Come up into that glute raise. Now, if you can't do that glute raise in down dog, do it kneeling. Out, in. So in that case, you will be here. Unravel again. Out, in, out, in. Come up, glute raise. Come back down. Out, in, out, in. Stay up. Next exercise is just a glute raise at the top in down dog position. So try and align your shoulders, your chest towards the floor. Your leg is turned out. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. Your arms and your leg are straight. You're looking kind of a bit in front of you, trying to keep your neck in alignment with your spine. And it's up and up. Really squeeze the glute at the top. Tummy's in. Deep breath here. Up and up. Squeeze and squeeze. Seven, six. Come on. Really squeeze. Angle glute lift for the glute medius. Nice job. Come down. We're going to stay in an all fours position. We're going to bend our leg. We're going to, sorry, we're going to straighten our leg. Up for two. Stay up. Bend, extend, extend. Down, up and up. Bend, extend, extend. Down, up and up, bend, extend, extend. Now, if this is too hard with the straight leg, you can do it bent. You can come down, up, down, up, extend, extend. Okay, that's your option. Down, up, try to keep your chest to the floor. Down, up, down, up, bend, extend, extend. We're down on our side again with that side leg raise, repeating those five exercises next. Down, up, down, up, bend, extend, Extend, last time, and bend, extend. Okay, come back down to where you were, but on the other side, make sure you're not doing the same leg. You're gonna come up, you're gonna step in front, twist your body, glute raise. Come back down. Really nice, big, it's almost like a stretch. Then other side, glute raise, come back down. Remember your option. If you want to, come to your knees, glute raise, and back down. It's up. Turn to the back, glute raise, and back down. Slow it down if you need to. Down, up. Squeeze that glute at the very top there. Really lengthen through your arms. This is great shoulder work last time. Okay, we're on our backs, and we're gonna do that glute bridge Exercise with the leg sweep. So, your leg is up in the air, your glute is up. Down, up, down, up, bend, extend, bend, extend. Down, up, down, up, keep your butt off the mat. Now, if you're finding this too hard, you can tap down. So you would be going down, up, down, up, extend, extend. Breathe. Down, up, bend, extend, extend. <sighs> Try to keep your legs super straight. Okay, so now that same leg that was up, we're gonna sweep it in front. So sweep in front, come out, sweep in front, come to the back, twist yourself, glute raise. Okay, so that's your exercise. 
So it's out, same leg stays in front, in front, twist to the back, down dog, glute raise. Your option is to stay on the knee, down, across, down, across, twist to the back, glute raise. Come back down, widen across, widen across, bend that bottom leg, twist, glute raise. Come back down. Come on, really nice and wide, really straight legs on all of those extensions. Come back down. And last time, just stay up in your down dog and angled glute raise up to the corner. Okay, look in front of you. Arms and supporting leg are straight. Turn your hip out and angle your leg to the corner where the ceiling and the wall meet and really squeeze at the top. Squeeze your glute at the top. Breathe through it. Come on, bend, extend. Bend, extend. If this is too hard, remember I gave you that option. Stay down on your knee. Up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're all coming down to our knees. Extend that leg. We're going down, up, down, up. Bend, extend, bend, extend. So you're keeping that same direction to the corner. You're turning your hip out. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Down, up, down, up. But try to keep your shoulders and chest facing the mat. Down, up, bend, extend, bend, extend. Remember your option if you find it too hard to do this with a straight leg. Just go down up with a bent knee. Down up and then extend, extend. You've got options here. Maybe slow it down a bit. This one really burns. We're on our back next and we're gonna do some abs. Down up, up, bend, extend, extend. Last time, extend. Okay, we're on our backs and we're going to keep our legs in an L position. We're gonna bring our elbow across, then do two sweeps. Across, sweep and sweep. Now I want you to keep your shoulders off the mat. <sighs> up and up, across, sweep and sweep, across. You don't have to touch your elbow to your knee. I just want you to really twist <sighs> from that waistline. You should feel your entire stomach area here wrapping as you twist across, across, twist and twist, across, twist and twist. Nice job. We're going to come in and twist the opposite direction and then two little pulses in. So one and then a double. Ready? Come with me. One and a double. One and a double. Breathe through it. Now if you can't extend your legs and hover them, you can put your leg down, okay? Go like this. Maybe even keep your leg bent. Down, pulse, pulse. Across, pulse, pulse. This one really gets you. We're repeating those two exercises on the other side. Pulse, pulse. Across, pulse, pulse. Last time, pulse, pulse. So this time the other leg is up and we're gonna do that knee to elbow, or elbow to knee rather, elbow to knee and two leg sweeps. Elbow to knee, two leg sweeps. You don't have to touch, just twist across. If you wanted to reach, you could even reach. That's your option. If this is too much, you can even just do the legs. Okay, just do the legs. But try to do a couple, a few. Across, up, up. Across, up, up. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do that pull in and then the double on this back. Okay, three, two, one. One pull in and then a double pulse. One pull in and a double pulse. 
In and pulse. In and pulse. Keep breathing. In, pulse, pulse. In, pulse, pulse. We're on up front to do a Superman next. In, pulse, pulse. And that will be our last exercise, people. Pulse, pulse. So I really need you to give me your all. Finish strong with me. Pulse, pulse. In, pulse, pulse. Okay, come to your front. And we're doing a Superman into a plank. So we're going to do an X. Up, plank, raise one leg. Come down with me. X up, plank, raise the other leg. If you can't do this in plank, raise up, knee, glute raise. Down, raise up, knee, glute raise. Now, if you don't want to do your full body, just do the top and then come up. Or do the top and then knee and raise. Otherwise, do the full thing. And down, control on the way down. Don't just let your body drop. And down, up, and down. And you are done. Oh my goodness. Let's peel ourselves off the floor. Come into a side lying and we're gonna do a bit of a stretch here. Deep breath in. Bring your leg up and stretch that towards you. Doesn't matter how you do it. You can hold on wherever you need to. Just deep breaths here. That was really high cardio, even though we didn't jump around at all. Isn't that amazing how you can get your heart rate up with simple moves? As long as you're using your multiple muscle groups at the same time, you definitely feel it. So come up. We're going to pull our heel into our glute and press our hip forward so that you're stretching the front of your thigh, your quad. Really deep breaths here. Let your heart rate down. And then bring that across. And pull your knee in. Make sure both your butt cheeks are on the mat. Stretching out the glutes. So many lunges in that workout and squats. So a good glute stretch is definitely in order. And then just extend your leg in front with your kneecap in line with your chest and just hinge forward for a hamstring stretch. Can't talk anymore. Nice lengthening and then just open up and hinge forward again for inner thighs, maybe point and flex here. Come down to your low point as long as you're feeling a stretch in those inner thighs. And then just bring that other leg in and that hamstring stretch. If you prefer to have both legs in front, you can do that. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to feel it at the back of your legs. And then just bring that across and pull in. Nice straight spine. Both your butt cheeks are on the floor. And then just come into a Z position and bring your heel to your glute and push your hip forward as you're bringing your foot closer to that glute. And then just come down on that side and bring that leg in. Nice inner thigh and hamstring stretch at the same time. And just sit up and we're gonna reach across and across and across and then sweep and back up. Other side across and then sweep and back up and then just side to side. And then across, across. And then interlace behind and just pull your arms up at the back, maybe hinge forward a bit. And then up overhead and just lean side to side and pull your arm across and just a little bit of a neck roll, a shoulder roll, a wrist roll, 
And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Endurance 40 Sculpted. I hope you enjoyed that burn. I, got, I hope you got your heart rate up, got a bit of a sweat going, and that you definitely felt some of that muscle burn. If you found some of those moves, the twisting moves, a bit confusing, the first time round, it's totally normal to get a bit overwhelmed with moves if you haven't done them before. If you're new to my workouts and these sort of endurance style workouts, definitely take it up a notch in terms of complexity. So stick with it. I just encourage you to persevere because even though you think this might not be for you, I promise you every time you do it, it will get a little bit easier. So just stick with it and you will see the results will speak for themselves. You're using multiple muscle groups all in one go. It's a short and effective workout that really helps to build not just strength, but balance in the body as well as coordination. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.